Yo, what up, Street Talk, Street God, God Street Vlogs, or Kim and has uh, some thoughts. So, some thoughts for the future. So, first and foremost, just get one of those uh, clipper wireless charging wall clippers. Just got on Amazon. Give myself my own ghetto haircut. Like, simplest thing you do is just like give yourself a haircut. Just uh, grow the top, slick it back. Lamborghini hair, the Brad Fit uh, Fury haircut, the to shave the sides. Uh, I just need to fix up the sides a little bit, but I'll do it more. It's it's actually nice, nice like uh, cut your own hair, just like so easy. Just do it in the backyard, you know, do it in your boxers. I mean, if you buy yourself, just do it naked and just. I did it with uh, take off my glasses. I just did by feel, and uh, the reason is I just I like the sides short. In the back, I don't even know what the back looks like, but uh, I guess also the good thing is because I don't have a cool, cool real job, it doesn't even need to look cool, cool good. And I would rather do a bad job myself and just do it quickly. No one could have schedule or schedule a haircut or whatever and just, just do it myself. But anyway, it's pretty proud of myself. So, some thoughts uh, for the future. Uh, like, man, it's like people in America just like. Everyone just looks so sick and unwell, and I had some thoughts. So typically, when you look at other humans, look at their physiology. Uh, most people just look unwell, like unhealthy, uh, unwell, and you know, typically when people have a lot of like fat, body adipose tissue, whatever's, it's actually a signal of. Um, metabolic disease and so when you look at people who don't look well people just physiologically look diseased and uh and i think you know our naturalistic things when you look at people who look diseased uh kind of like aesthetically i think it looks quote quote ugly to us and we just kind of uh want to keep our distance and so uh, you know, go to gym and stuff like that, you know, think about the gym as a quote quote health club. I think when people go to the gym, the ultimate goal is actually you to become quote quote healthier. But what does that mean? Um, I mean, simple ways to get healthier, just spend more time in the sun, get a nice tan, get a nice flex on, right? Um, getting more sun exposure during the day is good. I mean, of course, the dosage is the poison if you're in, you know, <laughs> the Middle East and you're in the desert for 12 hours straight in the direct sun. Uh, probably not going to be a good idea, but, you know, just listen to your body. I think uh, most people's too afraid of the sun nowadays, skin cancer, whatever. I mean, love it based on your uh, genetic heritage. So if you use, uh, you know, from northern sweden and use really really lighter pigment then uh yeah cover up uh but you know if you you know families from like africa sub uh here in africa yeah just just uh be in the sun right and actually there's some theories that uh you know african americans or if you're heritage from africa and you move to let's say london where there's not that much sun a lot of people get more um, depressed physiologically depressed because when you have a darker skin pigment and you live in a place that doesn't get that much light uh, there's kind of this uh, disbalance between the melanin melatonin skin UV absorption from the Sun I mean my cultural heritage I'm uh, you know both my parents are from uh, South Korea and Korea has like four distinct seasons. And I think Korean people tend to have more quote quote olive skin. I mean, we tan pretty good during the winter time. We get more pale, et cetera. But uh, I mean, here in Southern California, the, the sun does tend to be a little bit like on more extreme end, but just, I mean, once again, just, just listen to your body. It's like, if it hurts, Put on a shirt. It feels good. Just uh, let it let it bang, right? Um, 
and yeah and i think uh, i was even thinking about the gym it's like why is the gym so beneficial so one of the things i love about the gym is like on the days where it's like cold wet humid like bone chilling just going to the gym and using the hot sauna is probably one of the cool cool best things you could do for your health it just feels good right and you know the question is like how long should you stay in just like however long you want to stay in right like just go in the second you want to go out just peace out right uh you know, don't set a timer on your phone i don't think that's uh, necessary uh you know oftentimes if i'm just kind of sleepy i'll just lie down take a nap you know put down my backpack lie down the sun just take a nap uh or just sit close my eyes it's a good place to just think and meditate uh and yeah the gym uh i mean i do think that some sort of physical exercise and activity makes us happier um and so a simple thought is one should only do types of exercises which makes one happier uh, I think a lot of people tend to do certain exercises which feels like hateful labor to them and the only way to stay motivated to continue going to the gym, working out, whatever, or do your exercise practices, you just generally just gotta like it yourself. I mean, um, if it feels like hateful, toilsome labor to you, then don't do not do it. Don't do that type of thing that you don't like. And the best way to be motivated to go to the gym is, yeah, you treat it like your, your playful, fun leisure, and you never force yourself to go to the gym. If you don't feel like going to the gym, just don't go. Uh, if you want to go, go. You want to go twice a day, go twice a day. You want to go three times a day, go for it. Uh, even a lot of people who I find who are like retired, semi-retired, whatever, Bitcoin billionaires like EK, right? This is like, going to the gym is like one of the least worst places to just kill time. Uh, you know, just like shoot the shit, you know, making friends at the gym, stuff like that. And so, uh, one, one thought that I've had, which is like kind of uh, different is, you know, I always thought that, oh, like the gym is the only place, you know, I just need weights, you know, whatever. But yeah, now I'm starting to like change my opinion. It's uh, I'm going to gym, just you know, making new friends, just people watching, chat with people, da -da -da, uh, put yourself on display. Uh, the upsides of the hot sauna. Uh, just going there if you need to, uh, if you need to drop a deuce, just do it at the gym. Um, and uh, yeah, just think about the gym as like a, a social space. Uh, I wonder that I feel like more sociologists should do analyses of the gym the gym culture to me it's one of the most fascinating places especially if you're in the burbs uh yeah especially if you're in the suburbs it seems like the gym is one of the least worst places to go to uh you know kill time and indulge yourself in some sort of virtuous activities because yeah once again you can make friends and da -da -da. and like you go to the gym, like at worst you can go there and just like do some stretches, lift some weights real quick and then just go home. And it's probably going to be a net positive, whereas if you just stay at home, you know, just gonna, you know just some streaming services, it's kind of like uh, degenerative. And also if you're just tired and you want to take a nap. Once again, just go to the, to the gym and just uh, take a nap in the hot sun. It's, uh, I think it's more restorative than just doing it, taking a nap at home. Um, Yeah, so I'm starting to think and uh, better understand is, uh, yeah, like, if you want to open up a gym or start a gym, da -da -da, uh, certain things that I like, right, is having, you know, some sort of really hot, hot sauna, whether it be dry or wet, whatever. Um, even I feel like more gyms should do this, like, having, like, icy sh cold showers or, like, ice baths. A lot of Korean uh, jimjibangs, the saunas, they actually have that. So jumping in between the, the cold bath and the the hot room is, uh, I think it's actually good for your health. Um, my theory is actually the undulation of extremes between really, really hot and really, really cold is superior to your health than just always being consistently 
70 degrees. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and actually uh, also my ideal gym is kind of like an indoor outdoor space where like for example I really like the Gold's Gym in Venice Beach where you can actually work out you know outside topless uh, you know and there's like a power rack there um, the the local crunch uh, gym I go to is it's all indoors which I kind of don't really like but I'm like oh whatever it's, uh, it's like I, I can walk there so it's, uh, it's convenient um, and yeah and actually uh, something I'm starting to realize about the gym and stuff like that is better to just like go to a more quote quote less well equipped or worse gym that's within walking distance than having to drive really really far to go to a quote quote better gym because ultimately the point isn't the gym the gym equipment the the weights itself but it's more the the healthy quote quote lifestyle uh surrounding it um and yet i think a human like being around other humans it's uh even when I'm starting to test my authenticity about myself, you know, hype lifting, you know, rolling up my shirt, you know, show off my uh, my turbo thighs is uh, I don't know. Like I, I guess I do like putting my body on display, and uh, I like uh, like being uh, the center of attention and having everyone look at me. Um, it's actually funny because in modern day times, it's considered immoral to be a quote quote attention whore. I totally am. I'm like why is that it's like one must be more low-key me i think it's just a, a result of modernity it's kind of um like a novu like victorian kind of like christian notion that in order to become more virtuous one needs to become more low-key and not to draw too much attention to themselves but the hilarity is that like everyone's so like anyone who's just like oh, i'm like use on instagram i'm like i don't trust like if I know anybody's on Instagram, I'm like, psh, use out. Why is that? Because Instagram is all about drawing attention to yourself, which is which is a fine thing. But when people try to do it in kind of like this, like low key, like you know, making moves in silence or whatever, then I, I find that uh, uh, very very disingenuous. Um, so yeah, I think uh, just moving forward in life, it's uh, good to attract attention to yourself. I would just say better just start a youtube channel it's much more robust start your own podcast uh certainly your own website self-hosted uh, bluehost.com and sell wordpress.org and uh and yeah just think more about your bodily physiology your health and uh keep philosophizing on it